This video provides an overview of the preparation of instruments for sterilization and loading of the Midmark M9 and M11 steam sterilizers. Always refer to the appropriate technical documentation for the complete list of instructions, safety alerts, and sequence of procedures before conducting any service or maintenance operations. When loading items into your sterilizer, please keep in mind that all items must be processed in accordance with the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention guidelines. According to the CDC, items to be sterilized should be arranged to permit free circulation of the sterilizing agent, and the manufacturer's instructions for loading the sterilizer should be followed. Please note that when using an M9 or M11 steam sterilizer, loads must be placed on trays at all times, unless the optional cassette racks are used, to avoid serious instrument or equipment damage. Before placing any instrument in the sterilizer, check with the instrument manufacturer to ensure the materials are compatible with steam sterilization and to verify the acceptability of sterilization parameters. The M9 and M11 are designed to sterilize metal instruments, rubber or plastic devices, wrapping or bundling materials, cassettes, high and low speed handpieces, and surgical instruments. Clean instruments immediately after use to avoid drying of residual matter. Instruments must be thoroughly cleaned to remove all residual matter, such as debris, disinfectant and lubricant residuals, blood and organic matter. We are providing general cleaning guidelines, but the device manufacturer's instructions for proper cleaning and preparation of the items for sterilization should always be followed. The use of automated cleaning equipment, such as an ultrasonic cleaner or washer disinfector, is recommended over manual cleaning for clinician safety and cleaning effectiveness. After cleaning, thoroughly rinse instruments with tap water to remove any loosened debris or residual cleaning fluid. The purity of tap water varies significantly. It is recommended the final rinse be done with water of adequate quality to avoid instrument staining. After rinsing, instruments should be inspected for damage, debris, and detergent residue, then dried completely before packaging. If the instrument manufacturer's instructions require lubrication of the instruments after cleaning, wipe off excess lubricant before packaging the instrument for sterilization. M9 and M11 steam sterilizers are capable of sterilizing pouched or wrapped items to preserve sterility after processing. When pouching or wrapping items, use only sterilization pouches and wraps that have been cleared by the FDA and labeled for use, with the steam sterilization cycle being used. Follow the manufacturer's instructions for use for sterilization conditions when sterilizing any instrument. Instruments made from different materials should not be mixed in the same pouch or wrapped pack to avoid potential instrument damage. Pouches, wraps, and instruments should not touch the chamber wall to allow proper steam circulation and avoid potential instrument damage. For proper steam circulation and drying, the preferred orientation of pouches is resting on their edge. This is best accomplished using the Midmark pouch rack supplied with the M9 and M11 sterilizers. Additional pouch racks can be ordered if needed. If more than two pouch racks are used in a single load, additional dry time may be required. Use of the pouch rack requires the removal of some of the sterilizer trays. When using the pouch rack, load a single pouch per rack slot. When using paper or plastic sterilization pouches, the pouches should be oriented in the rack so the plastic side of one pouch faces the paper side of the adjacent pouch. Pouches loaded directly onto the trays will dry best if loaded with plastic side up. Do not layer pouches in the trays. Pouches should be loosely packed with hand pieces and instruments, single height loaded, not piled or stacked, to permit proper steam flow and penetration to the items. If pouches or wrapped packs are labeled using a marking pen, the ink should be non-toxic and capable of withstanding steam sterilization conditions. On paper or plastic pouches only, mark on the plastic side of the pouch. On wrapped packs, mark the labeling information on the indicator tape or apply a separate label. When using cassettes in the M9 or M11, follow the cassette manufacturer's instructions for use. Do not wrap items too tightly. Sterilization can be compromised if an item is excessively wrapped and the wrap is more likely to tear if wrapped too tightly. 
Cassettes can be loaded on the trays, but they must fit within the boundaries of the tray, and they should not touch each other, the tray above, or the chamber wall, to allow proper steam circulation. The total instrument load including the cassettes should not exceed the limits listed in the maximum capacities tables in the user guide. When using the optional horizontal and vertical cassette racks in the M11, the maximum load including the cassettes can be increased to 12 pounds. Additional dry time may be required. M9 and M11 steam sterilizers are capable of sterilizing unwrapped instruments for immediate use. Place a surgical cotton towel paper tray liner, or a folded CSR wrap in the bottom of the tray. Arrange the unwrapped items on the towel so they do not touch one another. The sterility of unwrapped instruments is compromised upon exposure to a non-sterile environment. Follow CDC guidelines for using unwrapped, sterilized instruments. If instruments are not going to be used immediately or are sensitive to steam sterilization conditions, they should be wrapped with or placed in pouches made of material that is designed to be used for steam sterilization in order to reduce exposure to sterilization process residues. Each day, the water reservoir should be drained and refilled with distilled water that meets the water quality standards for Midmark sterilizers. Use only M9 and M11 trays and racks in their appropriate sterilizer. Using other trays or racks could restrict air and steam flow to items, resulting in inadequate sterilization and drying. All items must fit within the tray and not extend over the lip of the sterilizer tray. Instruments must not scrape the chamber walls when sliding the tray into the chamber. Jointed items must be sterilized in an open position, so all surfaces are exposed to the steam. Hand pieces and instruments must be arranged in a single layer on the trays, not piled or stacked, to permit proper steam flow and drying. Glassware or utensils capable of holding water should be positioned on the tray with the open side down, so any water condensate drains from the container. When sterilizing glassware, check with the manufacturer to make sure it is compatible with steam sterilization. Rinse tubing with distilled water or water that meets the referenced water purity specifications in the user guide and do not dry prior to sterilizing. Arrange tubing on the tray so there are no sharp bends and the tubing ends are open and unobstructed. Follow the device manufacturer's instructions for disassembly of multi-part instruments prior to packaging and sterilization to assure all parts are adequately exposed to the steam. If items are being sterilized and stored for later use, they must be packaged and completely dry when removed from the sterilizer chamber to avoid potential recontamination. If pouches are used for sterilizing instruments, they should be placed on the tray paper side down. Variations in load configuration, size, wrapping materials, and the environment may require the operator to increase the default drying time to assure all packaging and instruments are completely dry. See the Cycle Operations section of the M9 M11 User Guide for instructions on adjusting drying time. When sterilizing a load that contains one or more hand pieces, utilize the handpiece cycle, not the pouches or unwrapped cycles. Clean textiles recommended for steam sterilization can be processed in the pack cycle. Verify the acceptability of the pack cycle sterilization parameters with the textile manufacturer to assure the textiles are compatible. All textile packs must not exceed the thickness limits specified in the maximum capacities tables in the user guide and must fit within the boundaries of the sterilizer trays. If multiple packs are placed on a single tray, maintain a minimum of a quarter inch between packs for proper steam circulation and drying. Successful sterilization is dependent upon correct loading of the sterilizer. Do not overload the sterilizer chamber. Adequate space must be maintained around all items placed in the chamber to assure proper steam circulation and adequate drying. The maximum capacities tables in the user guide are provided as a reference regarding the maximum loads that can be processed in the sterilizers but maintaining proper spacing between all items processed to assure good steam circulation and drying should be the guiding factor in determining the maximum load that can be processed. For more detailed information about your sterilizer, please refer to the M9 M11 user guide. For further support, contact Midmark Support Services at 1-800-MIDMARK.